Welcome back everybody and if you're new here welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to bore sight your Maverick to the new advanced targeting pod and a cold and dark started F-16. Alright right here we're cold and dark let's go ahead and get it started. Okay, once you got your jet started up, go to air to ground mode. I always put my targeting pod on the left at MFD. Power on your AGM 65s, whichever model you want to use, and select the weapons page on the right MFD. That's what I always do. And then uh, wait for your Mavericks to time out and wait for your advanced targeting pod to complete its bit test. Okay, once your ATP has finished the bit test and your Mavericks are and your Mavericks are timed out, you gotta pick a target out there to align to. So currently what I'm going to do, turn on my nose wheel steering. This is optional, but this is what I'm going to do to make sure that both my Mavericks are pointed straight at the target that I want to align to. Placed a Humvee out there. I haven't had any luck on aligning Mavericks in the past with airfield lights or buildings or anything of that nature. So I placed a Humvee way out there in the distance so I can align to that. So first thing you're gonna do, make sure your Mavericks are in visual mode or in bore sight. Do not put them in pre just yet. And then, uh, and then what you're gonna do, come over here and select the ground jet enable switch on. Master arm to on. Once you have both those set, go ahead, go to your ATP. Zoom it on in. And I'm going to find my target. There is the Humvee. Line up the crosshairs. I'm going to TMS forward on the stick short to select the target and then automatically it made the weapons page soy now what I'm going to do is slew my seeker head over to the target that I have selected there I'm gonna hit the FOV switch so I can see it better I'm gonna line up that Humvee right in the center I'm trying to get it as perfect as I can so I can get a good alignment there it is TMS forward on the stick and I have locked that Humvee. Now click the bore sight. All right, that's done. Now that that is finished, that I have selected station seven. So both of those Mavericks are aligned to that point. You don't have to do each individual missile, just the rack itself. So I'm going to use the nose wheel steering, air refuel disconnect and missile step key. Press it once, it changed to station three. So those two Mavericks, and I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna DMS down on the stick, data management switch down, keep my lock where it was, DMS down again to go over to the next Maverick station over there three, and then I'm going to field of view switch on the stick so I can see it better. And again, I'm going to align it with that Humvee out in the distance. TMS forward on the stick. I got a good lock on the same target. Click bore sight. Once it disappears, hit the missile step and you should be good to go. I'm gonna DMS down to the Humvee and I'm going to TMS down on the stick on the Humvee to deselect that track. Come back over here to the Smiz page, and I'm going to power off my Mavericks. Now I wanna show you how I ripple these things off with the new ATP. I'm gonna take off and head over to my target area. And one more thing, make sure you turn off your ground jet enabled switch and your master arm once you're finished. All right, folks, we are 15 miles from the target, 15 and a half miles from the target area. First thing you wanna do is 
place your Mavericks into free mode. They will not hand off the target location if they are not in free mode, so make sure they're in free mode. So go to the ATP. I'm gonna zoom in here to find my targets. So I have stationary targets here and I have moving targets. Uh, let's go ahead and just for this example, we'll go ahead and use the stationary targets. So what you wanna do, right now we are six, 15 miles from this current line of targets and the handoff will not happen as you can see, watch. So I will TMS forward. Nothing. TMS forward. And it says it's handing off, but it didn't. We have to be within seven nautical miles for the handoff to be complete. So let's go ahead and take off our active pause. We're gonna get within seven miles. All right, we are at seven nautical miles from the designated targets. So now I will demonstrate the handoff. So you find your target that you want. We are within seven miles. TMS forward on the targeting pod. Come over. All right, so I'm not sure if this is a bug or not. According to the manual, it says to shut your Mavericks off. And I just had to realign them once I got here and they powered back up. So I would recommend just leaving your Mavericks on. Uh, you can foresight in flight your Mavericks. So I would recommend if it's a super long flight, maybe doing that closer to the target area just in case. I've never had any problems leaving my Mavericks on. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have. Now that I've rebore sighted the Mavericks, let's go ahead and show you the handoff. I select the target that I want with the ATP, TMS forward, look over, handing off to the station. Auto handoff is complete, and now I got a full targeting cross that's jumping around. That means I am locked on the target, and then I can fire from here. I'm gonna save the other Mavericks to show you how I ripple the Mavericks off using multi-track on the uh, ATP. So we locked onto the first one. That's the one that should explode. There it is. Right now I'm in TV mode because I can see it a lot better with TV mode. So that's what I'm gonna use. And I can zoom in much further with the TV mode. Um, you can use the black hot, white hot modes, I'm sure. Uh, if you want, I'm gonna use TV. I'm gonna select OBS 18, multi-track, and then I'm gonna create the multi-tracks for these remaining three. So I'm gonna cursor over one, TMS forward, and that put a circle on one of them. Now I'm gonna TMS forward on the next. I wanna track. Now if you notice, the new one I tracked is a, has a circle, and then the old one has a rectangle around it. Your current selected SPI, your current selected target, is going to be the circle. So I'm gonna to go to the next one, because I have three missiles. TMS forward again. So right there, I got three tracks going on right here at the same time. All right, I'm in active pause right now again, just to show you. Uh, we're gonna go through a bunch of different things uh, really fast, so I hope I can make this intelligible. But here are the three tracks, the three multi-tracks that we just got. And we are going to go in and ripple off the rest of our Mavericks as best as we can. Currently at eight miles, it's kind of close. Probably should, have, probably should go out and do this a little bit further away, but let's, uh, let's go ahead and do this. As far as I could tell, this will not automatically hand off unless there's something I'm missing. But currently, I don't know if that... I don't know if it's possible or I'm just doing something wrong. So this is how I'm doing it right now. All right, let's go ahead and unpause. Pull the throttle back and get to work. Okay, so right now, soy, I'm gonna 
TMS forward long, onto the target, DMS down, zoom, DMS down again to stabilize it. Sorry, TMS, TMS forward to lock, rifle, DMS down, TMS right, TMS forward long, DMS down, TMS down, FOV switch, TMS forward, rifle, DMS down, TMS right, TMS forward long, DMS down, TMS down, FOV switch, line up the shot, TMS forward, rifle. Oh. Let's see if I made it, let's see if I got them all. That's two. Looks like one of them went long. I was too close. Like I said, I should have backed off. I hope this video helps you guys. If it does, give it a like, subscribe, and comment down below what you guys think of the sniper pod. So far, I'm really liking it. Can't wait to get into more things on it. Like, uh, one thing I'm really looking forward to doing is uh, pointing out, using the pointer and pointing out targets at night with NVGs on to punch. That, I think that's going to be fun. You guys have a good one. No aircraft were harmed in the making of this video, except all of them. If you enjoy the flight, hit like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next sortie.